Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to build QuarD, or at least that's what I call this. Um, I know some folks have been having uh, some issues building and I just want to make sure that I document what I'm doing. And if you, uh, if you do have some issues, go ahead and file a bug or add some details to bug 30 and uh, we can dig into what's going on and make sure that we can get this working for everybody. So let's start real quick. I'm gonna go through and do a git clone of this. And so I can copy the, uh, the path here to clone. Now I do a git clone into a directory that is not part of my Go path. Uh, this uses Go modules now. Depends on how deep into the Go world you wanna get to here. But generally uh, you can just do a git clone of that. And then that'll copy everything down and then cd into quarrd, the directory. And then really it's, uh, now I'm doing a Docker, um, Docker version 19.03, uh, and I can just do a Docker build that, okay. One of the things you wanna do, just, just to be clear, is that you can do a Docker clean uh, system, well, it's, it's a system prune. This will go through and clean out all sorts of stuff that might be left after you use Docker for a while. So um, it can be a little bit dangerous, so you gotta be careful here. So first of all, all stopped containers. So if you start a container and then you stop it and it's sort of sitting there, now this may delete data if you wanna start that container in the future, so be careful about that. Uh, networks, um, it'll delete images with, where nobody's actually uh, uh, accessing those images. There's no running containers accessing those images. Uh, this means that you may have to download a bunch of stuff again, or you may have to rebuild some stuff. And then finally the build cache and the build cache is something that might be uh, tripping you up also. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and it'll delete a whole bunch of stuff. It cleaned up 900, I mean, uh, 700 megabytes worth of data here. And so now, like I said, I'm running Docker version 19.03. And then I just do a Docker build dash T quar D dot. And so what this will do is, if everything goes as planned, is it'll download um, the Golang 1.12 Alpine uh, image for building. Um, it'll set that up by actually installing Node because QuarD is a hybrid application with Go on the back end and a React on the front end. And so we're using uh, all of the sort of JavaScript tool chain to build the React stuff and we're using Go to actually build the back end stuff. Um, so we're going through and it actually does a bunch of stuff there and then it runs this build slash build.sh. Now, some folks have said that they don't have this and this is where things start to fail. And I'm thinking maybe you didn't clone the whole repo or you just grab the Docker file without that. Um, and so uh, hopefully uh, this will actually get you going. Um, and now we're actually going through and it's uh, pulling down all the dependencies of the, the Go binary, all the different libraries that it actually uh, pulls in. And so we're going through that. I have a pretty fast internet connection, so this moves pretty fast for me. Uh, if, uh, if you're not as fast, this might take you a while. Uh, and so we're going through and pulling a bunch of this stuff down. Now, because we had that build cache, if you're gonna build it again after making some changes, playing with some stuff, you may find that it goes a lot faster the second time around. Uh, that's how that caching works, but sometimes that cache can get in the way too. All right, so now we have our binary and we've actually gone through and we've built it and now we have successfully built and tagged this particular binary. So hopefully this gets you up and running. Again, if you have issues, feel free to um, uh, create a bug or if it's the, the build.sh not found, drop that into issue uh, 30 and, uh, and let me know how things are going and I'll try and be as responsive as I can with that. So uh, good luck.